Boo Carter. Uh, let me let me start with this. It is easy to provide a clickbait and say that he is going to Colorado because Jordan Seaton is going to Colorado, and uh, Deion Sanders has this this social media push and. And uh, that you can come up with all kinds of ways to twist the Boo Carter messages uh, on social media. If you didn't listen to the show yesterday, then you missed Stephen Argus of the Chattanooga Times Free Press, who said that Boo Carter is not only on board with Tennessee, but actually went to Colorado and recruited for uh, Tennessee. So I think this is pretty easy clickbait. Now, it is recruiting. So is there always a chance that things could change? Yeah, there's a chance that Josh Heupel could be hired as the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Like, seriously, I mean, that's within the realm of possibility. Um, so things could change. But right now, what percentage would you put it at that Boo Carter remains a vault? Because we want to bring you newsy news, and we have opinions, and we're going to share that, and we realize that's the hot way to get clicks and everything, but we're going to be genuine. I'm going to tell you what I honestly think. I told you that I honestly didn't think Joe Milton could play at a high level. I think I was proven right. I have questions about Tennessee's motivation in the Citrus Bowl, but we'll get to that at another time. I'm not concerned about Boo Carter. I think he's a vault. I think that when you look at this from the surface, Family gets to come to see him play a lot easier. Uh, if there's NIL money involved, Tennessee can match it because Colorado has more holes to fill, I would think. Tennessee also has a bigger budget. So what percentage, Caleb, would you say Boo Carter is committed to Tennessee? 100% being he just signed his letter. Or I well, would they don't say sign anymore, they would enroll. But you know what I mean. It's less than 1%. I'm so sure that he's staying at Tennessee. Man, I wish I started a odds a, a sports books co sports book company setting odds for uh, recruiting because oh, I would set up odds right now that would show that would give you great odds on Boo Carter if you took Boo Carter to go to Colorado. I would put it at like plus one thousand for him to go to Colorado, and then a bunch of Colorado people would throw me some money thinking he's going to Colorado because they would take that bet, and then I would just walk away, you know, just swimming in cash because Boo Carter is not going to Colorado. What scared everybody was Boo Carter yesterday sent out an Instagram story after Seton committed. He tagged Seton and it said, he tagged Seton and he said, you know what we said, and then a handshake. Guys, that means nothing. You can be friends with people on the recruiting trail all the time, right? And yes. that, yeah, and you can recruit support recruits going out other places all the time. You know what Boo Carter also shared yesterday on Twitter? He shared an Instagram story by Nico Iamaliava showing him as Mr. Football in the state of Tennessee. Leaving that part out. And also, Boo Carter, he's planning to graduate December the 15th. That's a week away. And then he plans to early enroll in Tennessee and begin bowl practices with them. You know how quickly your plans would have to change if you all of a sudden decide to flip to Colorado now? Like, Dave, I, like given early enrollee status now and given bowl practices – that's a, I know recruiting is, you know, round the clock, 24 hours, things change all the time. But if you're doing that, that that's a lot of changing in plans, isn't it? To all of a sudden say, oh no, now I'm flipping to Colorado, even though I've already, you're already making plans, aren't you, to graduate? And you're already setting the stage for you to early enroll at Tennessee. No, I just uh, don't see it. I think it's a, it's, it's a grandstanding thing. Um, it's a way to get clicks by some people. We want you to be a part of the program. We want as many people to be a part of the program each and every day. And 10 years from now, we're not going to try to get a thousand extra clicks by writing that Boo Carter is going to Colorado because I don't think that's the case. It is time for four downs where we talk a little bit of recruiting as we absolutely love to do all the time and it's brought to you by our friends at dynasty spas their showroom in athens open with the best hot tubs and spas in the market delivery yes they can do that complete support spa cover and chemicals to keep your spa bubbling at its best and that's dynasty pools and spas discounts for first responders military and even some blemish models that you can save a ton and no one will ever notice dynasty pools and spas go to dynastyspas.com or stop by athens in their incredible showroom
Four Downs brought to you by Dynasty Spas, the most comfortable spas made in the United States of America, right here in East Tennessee. Drop in for the all new showroom in Athens, Dynasty Spas, perfect for all four seasons. Four Downs presented by Off the Hook Sports. All right, so let's jump in the spa with Cooper Mays. Cooper here, first down. Thank you. The Seton factor in the Boo Carter thing, do you think it actually has any impact on Carter's decision? And we both think he's going to end up at Tennessee, but zero impact or any? That's the only two options I'm giving you. Zero. First of all, even if Boo Carter in the less than 0.01% chance was going to flip to, to Colorado, it wouldn't be because of Jordan Seton. This would have been something that was already planned like a while ago. So no, zero factor whatsoever. Seton is not going to impact Boo Carter's decision. Okay, now to be fair to the story, Coop, what down? Cooper Mays here, second down. If he were playing Tennessee, how big of a hit would it be? He flipped days before and went to Colorado. Scale of one to ten, how big of a hit? Being an in-state guy, being a four, high four, five-star guy. It would certainly be a hit to me because I just staked my whole claim. That <laughs> <laughs> no, we would both just, look like complete imbeciles. We would look so stupid. Um, but nobody else is going to go and tell you that. The, and I'm I, I'm giving it for the record. There's always a 5% chance that a kid flips. Okay. So I'm going to put it at 10%, which basically means the, the very minuscule chance for me. So that's what I tip. That's what I use when people ask me about guys that I, I think are a hundred percent committed. I give it a 5% chance. Something could happen. A 10% chance is where I would put boo Carter, but uh, boy, it would be bad. If, if, if he were to flip for some reason, it would be really bad. It makes me want to move on to third down. Tennessee center Cooper Mays here. Third down. Is the media baiting click baiting for boo Carter? I don't want to call anybody out in particular. Um, and it's not just clicks. It's listeners, it's viewers. It's all that. Uh, is the media guilty of trying to make this into a story? Yes, they are, but they do this with recruiting all the time. How many times, Dave, do you see rumors swirl about a player that you're covering it and you're like, this is not true. I know it's not true, but because of one commitment or one movement on the trail, you know, like the, the rumors swirl all the time. Colorado on the recruiting trail. Remember, Deion Sanders' whole selling point of rebuilding Colorado was his name could help recruit nationally. So whenever Deion Sanders is involved in the recruiting of a top prospect now, it's going to swirl. You're going to hear a lot of talk. So I think that's where where this is. Uh, all, you're right. There was a national reporter who covers Colorado recruiting who tweeted out yesterday, Boo Carter flip, question mark. Didn't even suggest inside sources on it, which is fine. But I think that's what triggered all of this. And so. Well, and I, I don't mind saying it. It's, uh, it's Josh Newberg, who I think does a good job. And I don't know that he wrote that headline. We didn't write headlines, which is why uh, Caleb and no, he me tweeted write headlines. It. He tweeted it out. Oh, okay. Well, he then he did that. it. Um, that would surprise me. Maybe we would have Josh. But he didn't. Or maybe he, no, didn't maybe suggest he, he has any. He didn't suggest he has any sources, and he put it as a question mark, meaning he was being very honest and saying that that's very much implying I don't have any sources or evidence of this, but the Seton does. It. So it would only be based off the Seton commitment. And I don't think the scene commitment proves anything. So I, I just, again, I don't think Boo Carter is going anywhere. He's staying, guys. Boo Carter is go is headed to Knoxville because, and if he's not, then he didn't just play Tennessee. He didn't just play us. He played the reporters that are closest to him. You ask anybody that has actually been on the trail with Boo Carter, and he's given off every vibe that he's staying at Tennessee. Yeah, I would suggest listening to Stephen Hargis, who we had on yesterday with Chattanooga Times. Free press. Derek says I'll go toxic uh, if we lose Boo. I don't. I don't think that's that's going to happen. I think you're you're all good there. And then we'll go to uh, four downs or so fourth down. All SEC center Cooper Mays here. Fourth down. All right. Who's the prospect we should be talking about now that Seaton's off the board? Now that we believe Carter's 110 percent Tennessee, we're not going to try to clickbait you and that sort of thing. Who's the young man uh, that's out there that we should be talking about? Hmm. Now, there's... Man, remember, recruiting in our world, you can include transfer portal if you would like. Yes, the obvious one is naturally going to be Walter Nolan. I've been on him from the start. Um, 
most guys are still pretty much set to go elsewhere. Now, if Tennessee wants to flip, there may be an, I wonder, Dave, do you think they've given up on Amari Jefferson, even though he's committed to Alabama? Uh, it does feel that way. It feels like this class is sort of settling with not that they are settling on, on, on who they have, but it's settling like a cake, so to speak. And that's where it is. Yeah. And because the other guy that I would say they should be going heavily after, I don't think they're going to get, and that's uh Marcellus Barnes, uh, also out of Chattanooga, but all signs point to him going to Georgia. All signs point to him going to Georgia at this point. So uh, I, I I don't know who is their top uh, best target after Seton in this class. I could really give it a spike. They may have to settle for it being a number 12 class, not top 10. But you can offset that with the transfer portal. And there are some players coming back. So, again, remember, guys, Tennessee went – Tennessee, I thought 2024 would be the first class that comes together. The NCAA did not end its investigation into Tennessee until August. So, well, and and let's put this out there too. Why are you worried about Boo Carter when Braylon Staley has put out a uh, social media post and he was with a, a South Carolina assistant coach? I mean, to me, that would be the bigger concern between him and Boo. I mean, that's the guy that people should be talking about. Um, and could you, you know, imagine a, flipping from Tennessee to South Carolina right now, though? No, I couldn't, and I don't think that's a loss either, but I would talk more about him than I would Boo. Yeah, I would too. I agree. I would talk a lot I mean, more like about Braylon Staley. My ratio is 5% not going to flip. 10%, there's always a chance. Uh, and then I would say Staley, 15 20%. I mean, that seems more like He seems more likely to, to go to South Carolina and stay close to home than to go two time zones away and play but for Colorado. Again. And recruiting is oftentimes about need because if Braylon Staley does flip, that would kill Tennessee's class ranking worse. But guys, they're so I, I, Dave. I know you disagree, but I think they're fine. If he flipped, it would be because he's worried he's not going to play at Tennessee. Yeah, and thank you, Travis. Travis absolutely got the point. I don't like the fact we get trolled. I appreciate that because you see uh, through exactly what we're trying to do here, and that is bring you news. I'll give you the different levels of news because I happen to be an old school reporter. So, you know, when you're a longtime uh, friend of the program, hit like and subscribe. We have reported that there was a players meeting in September that was held by Joe Milton. We have uh, reported that Cooper Mays would not go through uh, senior day festivities. We have reported things and we have broken news and we will continue to do so. I've also told you that I am hearing, but I don't tweet out I'm hearing because that looks like a report. So go ahead and click the like and subscribe button now if you want real news and not people guessing, because I will tell you what I'm hearing. And I, I share things on the show that we, we don't have on the site sometimes because I will say this is what someone has told me from, with, from within Tennessee's program. I do that pretty often, don't I, Caleb? And um, I will continue to do that. But if we want to come out and report something, we're going to report it. Um, so I, I, don't have, I don't have any reason to believe that you should be worried about Luke Carter.